If you do an IT as a subject at school and you need to do a PAT or practical assessment task, here's a video to give you some tips and ideas. And we've done a video on how to do a login screen. And this video, we're going to look at how we can add some extra funky features to it. Nothing too major, but just some funky features that you would normally see in a regular login screen. So let's go have a look at it. So here we have a general login screen where you type in your username and your password and you log on and that will go determine whether those are correct based on values from a database. We're not going to really do, deal with that. What we're going to deal with is how to make it look more like a login screen to some little features that you might not be aware of. First of all, I want to, most of the time when you use a, a password, you'll notice that that password is not normally visible. It's only stars or dots so that people can't see what you're typing in. So you can do that feature. If you click on the edit control, you'll notice there is a password char operator or method, not method, sorry, a property. There we go. So there's the password char. Now, before we change it, let's first have a look at what it is. Do you notice that it's hash zero? That's the default. So we can see everything and it's at the moment a hash zero. Okay, so if I change that to a star, you'll notice that when we click away, it, whatever you type in will now be dots. So that makes it a little more secure. So when you type in your password, it will change whatever the, the characters are to stars. It won't change it officially. It'll still be whatever the values are. It just said it will be hidden. So that's a nice little feature that you can do. There. But sometimes in when you type in your password, you want to be able to see what you typed. And you normally have this little eye on the side. And when you click on it, it shows you what your password is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to code in a feature where you have the eye. And when you click on it, it'll show you the password, but it's going to be based on whether you hold it down. Like some, some places you click on it once and it shows you, and then you click it again to toggle it off. I'm going to have it that you've got to hold your mouse down on that, on that R for you to see it. The moment you let go of the mouse, it'll go back to this version. Okay. So what I've done is this is an image component. Okay. So I've taken an image component and I have found two images. There are found two images. One of them has a picture of an R and one of them has a picture of an R with a line through it. And I've saved these images in the same folder. So there's the password that looks now. This one, you can't really see it, but it is actually there. You'll see it's, it's a image that's, it's, I don't know why it's hidden like that, but, um, hard password.png is the value of, um, is the image where there's an R, but there's a line through it where it's hidden. So ideally, if you come to our program, we want to, when we click on it, I want to change the image to be the one with the line through it. So that's, so that's this is when it, you, you click on it to see it. And when you click on it, it'll change to, it's now got a line through it. Well, okay, so before we get to the image, let's actually get the, the part working. So when I click on this image, I want to be able to see that password. So I don't want it to be when you just click on it and then it stays like that. I want it to be when you hold your mouse and you click down on it. So when I click on the image, I'm on the image properties. I'm going to go to events and I don't want to click on it to do it. I want it when the mouse is down on this particular image. So when I click on here, I'm going to double click here. Here's the code when the image is, when the mouse clicks down on it, then it'll run this code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. So I'm going to say that edit pass login password dot password char. Now, what was the prop? What was it when we originally had it? It was a hash zero. That's a predefined code. It's not a text. You just put a hash zero. That will change it to the default. So let's just test that. So when we click our mouse down on it, it will change to the password chart will change to that. Now it's almost going to be like a click. You'll see now it's going to be like a click. we have to write the code for when the mouse is up, which we'll do now. Now let's just do it. So when I click down on it. You see now it's changed to that. Now that's not actually what I want. I wanted to do it so that while I hold it down, it does that. So on the, if I click on that image, I'll go to the password on, on mouse up. When your mouse is up, I'm going to do the exact same code. So edt login password dot pass. I'm going to change it back to a star when the mouse goes up. So that means you've got to hold the mouse down on it for it to view that. So I'm going to put my mouse down. You see it's changed. Now I'm still holding my mouse down. If you, you can't see it, but I'm, I'm holding my mouse down. If I let go of my mouse now, boom, you see it goes back to the original. And it doesn't affect anywhere else, only that image. So if I hold my mouse down, hold. So if I just click once, you see it, it doesn't give you enough time. You've got to hold it down and let go. And there you can see it. And then I also want to change that image. I want when, when I hold it down, I want it to have that line through it just for 
for feature sake to make it more authentic so when the mouse is down I'm going to change that image I think it's image no we're still running the program that's why we can't do anything image show hide we're going to say dot picture dot load from file and because the file is in the same folder as all the other codes I want to change it to that picture I'm going to copy this so that I get the exact right name and we make it a string so we must load that picture when the mouse is down so let's see what effect it has boom hold it down boom you see how the image changed but the problem is like when I let go it changes back but the image remains like it is I actually want to now revert when we put the mouse up I want to go back to the original image so over here we're going to load the show password and that's because I named it that if you look there there's the show password.png you must have the correct it must be in the same folder for this to work as your project file so let's run it so when I hold it down boom there I'm holding it down and I let go boom it goes back to its original image and there we go so a nice little feature you take a one two oh, can you see there we go and so that's a nice little feature you can have with your passwords for other tips in Delphi and other RT related content, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like this video. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.